And usually we host a Friends Across the Mountains telethon to raise money for Friends of the Smokies. Yeah, WBIR anchor emeritus Bill Williams spent many years co-hosting that telethon, and I had a chance to check in with him and talk about our beloved Smokies. Bill, we have the Friends Across the Mountains telethon coming up. Obviously, 2020 a little bit different this year, so we're doing it virtually. Um, you've been such a big part of this. Um, it's kind of, it's really provided a a relief and a release for people to get out and do things in the in the Smokies. That's what I understand. Of course, the Smokies have always been uh, one of the favorite destinations. Well, for the whole nation, the the most visited park in the country, and here in East Tennessee, throughout the entire Southeast, because people just flock to the Smokies because, well, one, it's beautiful. Two, it's close. And it's just a great place to go. What what drew you to help and, and do this in the first place? Well, the thing about it is, uh, I guess we've been doing this for, what, 20, 25 years, something like that. Uh, I was made aware 25 years ago that the the uh, contributions, the the, uh, uh, the money the government comes up with for the, for the, for the uh, park just isn't enough. This is, as I said, the most visited park in the country, and the, and that's a problem. We love it, but we we're in, we're in danger of loving it to death wow. if we don't get enough funds in there to do all the things that need to be done. And that's what Friends of the Smokies tries to do with this telethon: is to get some additional funds to uh, to keep up the Trails Forever program and all the other programs that are so important to the park. So many memories have been made up there. You had a few yourself haven't you oh absolutely yeah well of course for as i say for 20 25 years i've been making memories with with this telethon i remember the first telethons because we ended up in most recent years doing it in the in in the studio but it was so much fun when we did it live from the smokies <laughs> we'd go right up there you know cades cove or other places and, and broadcast live and it, it just made it so real and 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 so immediate and we could say to the folks here, here's what it is. Here's where we are. Now help us. Now they just let Todd go up there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but, but Todd has been doing that for, and he, for years and he does a wonderful job.